And Trevor joins us now from Iqaluit for more on today's announcement. Trevor, busy day. Uh, thanks for taking the time here for us. Can you tell us how everything went today? Uh, by all appearances, everything went well. Uh, all the documents were signed. Uh, lots of people were clapping. Uh, community celebrations right after the signing. Uh, cultural performances. Um, at, at the very last performance, a bunch of MLAs and the Premier himself went out jigging. So, like, it was a very festive occasion, it felt like. Oh. Yeah, saw the Prime Minister up there as well. Uh, so, what do the people of Nunavut think about this all? Uh, the average person, I, I don't really have a, a read on, but all the people involved in devolution seem to be optimistic about how things are going. I, uh, as 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 to how uh, devolution will actually turn out, I think we will have to wait until we see the results. Well, like you mentioned, the, 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 yeah. celebrations have happened, uh, papers have been signed. Well, what happens next? Uh, well, uh, a lot of legislation, uh, the uh, Nunavut legislature during its next sitting is going to have to um, going to have to adapt to this new framework and uh, the implementation period itself it's three years and it begins on April 1st so uh, in comparison the uh, government of the Northwest Territories back in 2014 when they devolved they only had nine months so uh, a lot more breathing room in this agreement this time around so. well Trevor looking forward to uh, your continued reporting on this appreciate you taking a few minutes for us here thank you